equestrian friends, it's me Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how you can make a command center for your barn really easy with stuff from the dollar store. So these are the things I bought from the dollar store for my command center. I got a piece of the foam board. I found a frame that I can put two pictures in. And I got two dry erase boards and a bunch of markers. They had these permanent markers for a dollar, and I got some Pokemon cards, and another set of dry erase markers. And I found this really pretty ribbon too. So first I have to figure out how I'm gonna set up my command center. And this is to go in my barn, so whoever's feeding my horses, if I'm not home, they know what the horses get and which horse is which. So I was just kind of playing around, seeing how everything was going to lay out. And then I had some pictures of my horses that I'm going to put inside of the picture frame. And the one picture I had of Frisbee was a little bit bigger, so I took the picture of Ethan and I used that as a template for Frisbee's picture. And now they're the same. And they're going to go inside the frame. So this picture frame was really neat because it already had like a mat around it and it had enough room for two photos to go inside. And all I had to do was take the back off and get into the picture frame itself. You gotta love the dollar store for having tons and tons of different options for frames. And they're affordable at a dollar. So on the mat, I decided to write my horse's name underneath each of the openings. So Frisbee is going to be on one side and Ethan is going to be on the other side. And the reason I did this was to give a visual image of someone who may not know my horses. That way they'll be able to look at the picture and see which horse is Frisbee and which horse is Ethan. and then I just had to put the pictures of each horse into the frame. And I just secured the pictures onto the mat with just regular tape. And of course I had to have a funny picture of Ethan because that's pretty much every picture I have of Ethan is him doing something silly. So that's just his personality and I thought that was perfect. And then I just took the pictures and put them back into the frame. And 
And then I found these dry erase boards and I thought they would be really handy to have because I can put different information on each of the boards. And we were going out of town and my daughter was taking care of our horses. So I wanted to make sure she had all of the information that she needed outside in the barn just in case something were to happen. And having a couple of dry erase boards is nice because you can change the information if your information changes. And I think when you're having someone come to your home and take care of your horses, the most important thing that you can have for them to access is important phone numbers. So I made a list of the important phone numbers. And then I also did a dry erase board for Frisbee and Ethan's feeding schedule. And once I decided how I wanted my command center to be, then all I had to do was attach everything to the foam board. And I used E6000 adhesive to attach these. It works really well and it gives you a little bit of control over the drying time. So if you need to reposition something, it's easier to move around than say if you were to use a glue gun and it forms a permanent bond onto the two different pieces of material. All right, so I have my dry erase boards. Now all that's left for me to do is to attach the picture frame to the foam board. And you can find this E6000 adhesive pretty much anywhere, but like Hobby Lobby, Walmart, places like that, or you can even buy it online. It's really a great craft adhesive that works with all different types of crafts. And I did have a couple of extra photos of my horses, so I also wanted to add these to my little display board. I think it gave it a little bit of something extra and also gave a different perspective of each of the horses so my daughter would know, yes, this is definitely Frisbee or yes, this is definitely Ethan. And then I took that really pretty ribbon that I found and I basically made a frame of ribbon around each of the photos.
and once my command center had plenty of time to dry, I took it out into the barn and hung it on the wall. And you may not want to use a glue gun if you're hanging it on the wall, but for my barn, it worked fine for me. But you may not want to do that if you have a fancy barn. And this is my command center in my barn for anyone taking care of my horses. It gives their feeding schedule, pictures of the horses, and important phone numbers. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.